big win for you guys tonight uh, after coming off you know the loss against Henderson and you know knowing that Calgary's the best team in the specific division what was the mindset going into tonight's game to as far as trying to beat these guys uh, you know what I wasn't happy with our last game um, last weekend so you know we spent the week kind of dealing with that and, and you know I think the group uh, did a good job you know recognizing that we got more and um, you know, practice was a uh, you know, pretty hard week of practice and got ready for, for t uh, tonight, and I thought the guys responded pretty well. You know, McMahon gets his first goal, uh, or gets the first goal for you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, wh when you, how can he say what he's gotten better with him as a player so far this year, it's beginning to start of the year? Yeah, he's made a lot of strides. I think uh, his breakout skills have improved. He's using his net, you know, um, scanning, uh, you know, before collecting retrievals, and he's he's been able to beat four checkers, um, which is something that we've been working on with him and starting to show up in his game. And, you know, I think uh, for him it was, you know, just getting some experience in uh, North America. You know, he was playing, obviously, over there last year. So to get him over here, and, uh, you know, he's, he's doing a nice job. And what would you say he needs to improve on uh, defensively and offensively? Yeah, just he just needs time. You know, he's still young, and you know he's making strides. And like I said, he just needs some some experience. We're putting him in every situation, and you know he's responding to everything very well. You guys pretty much put the game away early in that third period with that five minute major. First of all, did you believe, believe that the hit was a, deserving of a five minute major? And B, was the message going into the intermission uh, to be patient on that power play, to kind of pick your spots knowing that you guys had that much time to do that? Yeah, um, yes, I, I, yeah, I did think it was, a, you know, it was the right call. Um, and yeah, I think the message, you know, in between periods was, you know what, uh, this is our chance to put the game away, and I thought our power play responded well. And then you look at why Mackie and Emmy gets his first shutout of the season. Mm -hmm. How's well has he been playing for you tonight as well, or this season so far? That he's come back. He's been good, yeah. So obviously he missed some time, and uh, you know, it, uh, you know, you see it in practice. Uh, you know, it takes a couple times of seeing live shots and stuff uh, to get back into it, and I think he's coming along really well. And then, can you carry any of this momentum to tomorrow night's game against try to get the sweep against these guys? Yeah, we have to. You know, uh, that was kind of what we talked about after the game. We've uh, put ourselves in a position where you know we, we need two points every night, so um, it's great. I think we should feel good about ourselves. We should enjoy this for tonight, and then tomorrow when we come in in the morning for our meeting, and you know this is in the past, and we got to figure out a way to beat them again. John, one more question: uh, What was the reason you put Raul together with Gushin and Weisbold? Did it feel like uh, they just needed an experienced guy to play, to play with them? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I wasn't uh, thrilled with our last game in Henderson, so looking for some new combinations. And, uh, you know, those guys tried some different stuff for this week in practice, and those guys look good together. So stuck with them for the game, and I liked them tonight too.